Well, I'm back to my Sims 2 roleplay as George and Gina, as after not really doing much the next day, let's see what week happens in this episode, shall we? As we're getting near the end of the 2040s, I think. So, let's see what George is going to be doing. He's going to be playing on the couch, and of course, like I said, his time is running out soon. Now, there actually is a chance for him, I think, to live as, uh-oh... I see this game does not like the shadow effect that I did as, let me go into the really quick because this is the first time I'm playing with the new graphics card and let's see, is this the graphics, let me try um, view distance, clickable, now I know clickable neighborhoods, and I don't see anything about like no shadows or anything, wait, oh here we go, graphics, my bad, hi hi everything is... Set to max, but, but, um, unfortunately, it looks like the graphics don't, I mean, the shadows don't work really well with this graphics car, because those black spots did not appear before, and those are, those are the shadows. So, yeah, that's not a good sign that shadows don't work on this graphic card. Alright, let me, okay, game, let me go. The only reason I turned it off, since I since it looked so bad. All right, now he's gonna go tend that. But yeah, he needs to hurry up and get inside before he gets struck by lightning. All right, hurry up and go inside. But anyways, as I was trying to say before I had got interrupted by shadows, he actually has one chance still to possibly live, and he's in the position to do it. And that's being I think you have to be in platinum aspiration, so. If he, I think if when he's about to die, when Grim Reaper shows up, if he is in a platinum mood, he actually has a chance, I think, to play um, Rock, Paper, Scissors or something with Grim Reaper. And if he wins, he actually gets some few years extra life. I don't know if it would work like forever, but it's at least a possibility. But I think he has to be in a platinum mood to even have the chance to do that. And of course, she, um, Gina woke up already. All right, go take your bubble bath, and then I guess I'll have you go work on. I'm you know, blog about um, science for the moment. <clears throat> All right, so do that. All right. Sucks she woke up so early, too. That's really annoying. Alright, after you do that a little bit, go to the bathroom. And now, of course, George woke up, and it's not even midnight. It just turned midnight, too. Uh-oh, they're going to go fight for the bathroom, and Gina got there first. <laughs> oh, he's going to go um, jump rope. Okay. A little weird for an old man like you, George, to want to do that. All right, so now you're going to go stargaze. And then George wants to go blog about nature on the computer. So go do that. He want to talk about nature very soon, too. All right, looks like there's no food, so let's go take care of that. Oh, almost turned that off. No, 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 no. Where's the, um... Where's talk about hobby? There we go. You know what? Why don't I talk about um, Gina's favorite hobby, science, for once? Shows that they're a good couple. Talking about stuff that not necessarily interest each other. All right, now Gina... Yeah, you're going to go clean this up now, since that is not George's thing to do that. Alright, so now go try and catch some fireflies. Yep, do that. Yeah, good catch. So now Gina, once again, still trying to get that science enthusiasm. Let's see, how much longer do you need to get it? Oh my god, so close, but so far away. Seven. There no more. Ah. 
hunt for bugs. All right, go hunt bugs now, George. Says so it stopped raining. This is in the fall now. I see the trees are starting to lose their foliage. All right, the sign. Ooh, maybe she maxed out. <gasps> she did! Gina did it! She maxed out her science enthusiasm! Big W for her! All right, she did it! Nice! Uh-oh. George got attacked by bees! He stuck his hand in the wrong place. <laughs> uh, you know what? We're going to have him go relax. And we're going to have Gina relax, too. Yeah, do that really quickly. Hey, you know what? Yeah, they're going to have a good fun time. That way they can go to sleep a little bit, and that way I can speed it up, which I'm going to do now. They're senior citizens, yet they're still getting it on. All right, so now George going to wake up sooner. Right, as he thought he was going to wake up. There he goes. Okay, they both woke up. Dang it. There we go. Oh, he needs to... George, yeah, go to work, George. As Gina will go to the bathroom. Alright, just go have some juice. Oh, did me hit that button. Uh, there goes George. Let's see about Gina. When do you have to go to work? Oh, it's a work day. Nice. Oh, gotta go to work soon. And you're gonna go talk to Dean. I'm gonna speed up a little bit because I want to hurry up. Talk to Dean. That's more your objectives. We talked to Tracy. In the last episode, might as well talk to Dean right now since so lower relationship. There you go, got that. Yeah, do that. I mean, you already have your grandchild, so I don't know why it doesn't accept it. Like, I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should, if I remember inviting him over. Who's that? Cherry Graham. She looks like a teen. Okay, so let's see. 6 p.m., 2 p.m. All right, George will be home very soon. Man, his hours are really short. I feel like playing Sims busting out with those hours again. All right, here he is. Oh. <clears throat> Let's do some research. <gasps> she gained two logic and two charisma. Huge win! Although I've got a feeling that they're probably wasted. Actually, yeah, her she already has max, so yeah, that was wasteful. So that was like that one time where you get the skill correct, I mean the thing correct, but you gain nothing out of it. That's a rip. Alright. So George is back as he made freaking forty two hundred simoleons almost. Go to the bathroom. As he brought over her again. Like how, I'm pretty sure she's a teen. Ivy has been around for... Dude, the series has gone on like 40 plus years and she's still a teen for crying out loud. She should be an elder at least. Or close to it. <sighs> Alright, George. You're gonna go clean up and fill the bowl. And then let's go talk to... Wait, we can propose about... Oh, gift pet. Um... Talk about hobby. You're... Love of nature. Is it um George that has that issue? Oh no! Don't tell me it's Jean. Alright, it was okay, so it was Gina, but thankfully it's not gonna cost her promotion right now. Alright, get leftover food. As Tucker just came home from work. 
So, yeah, let's go get that soup out. Alright. Who's that? Oh, okay, neighbor. Or well, townie. All right, yep, go clean that up, and then clean that up too. What is he doing? Whoop. It's now 6 p.m., and looks like his thing's maxed out. And, okay, pause, got the promotion. Good for Gina, at least, but I'm still curious about George, because his thing's now maxed out. So, yeah. I think his death's about to come now, sadly. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Just keep an eye out. Well, here we... Yep. Well, let's see. Could he survive, though? Well, most likely not. Looks like he didn't try to fight. Well... RIP GEORGE! The man who started the series three years later and he is now officially dead. That sounds about right how my sims in my small town, the original ones, my started the, the town back in November 2009, the last original member died in August of 2012. Uh, RIP GEORGE. That sucks. So... Yep, rip him indeed. As everyone, look at this. Dean got 8,200,000 ,000 simoleons. Jason got almost 800, whoever that is. Gordon got almost 900. Ivy just got $1,000. Gina got 20,000. How come Tracy never got any money? That's her kid too. Okay, nine people, so maybe they did get money. Well, it's just a sad day in the series. Rip George Reese. 1973 to like what 2047 2048 only like 75 or something like that but he couldn't live much longer he was old well that was an unfortunate end of the series so now this series officially as i've mentioned before the hierarchy it's going to go next up in line is the spouse so now the focus series is going to focus on gina who is going to be all alone unless who knows maybe she'll invite someone to move in or maybe she'll get married again. You never know. But that's going to wrap it up, unfortunately, with this part. Rip George. As is now, time to see what their kids are doing now that their dad is dead. All right, so then we check off with Tracy, who she actually did make money. She made about $8,000 in um, life insurance after George died. So about the same as Dean. And with all that money... Her and Jane decided to finally go on that island vacation. Now, unfortunately, I a misclick happened. So instead of the original idea was they were going to go on vacation the next day, they ended up going on vacation within like an hour of booking it. And then, as you can see right there, even though they're on an island vacation, Jaden's want never activated. Probably because she was at work when this happened. So it was complete BS, and I'm really annoyed by it. Especially since I never actually did a whole day as Tracy and Jaden. So, looks like next time I play them, once they're done with their vacation, I'm going to have to take care of the, another day for them. So, they're on their vacation now, so hope they enjoy it. Then we check on Dean, and unfortunately, while um, Gretchen, while on the job, had a um, choice to pop up, and she took one, but the big no-no happened. She was fired. From her job in the restaurant industry. Very unfortunate in that regard. But hey, maybe she can now fulfill her life goal of being a mad scientist. I think that's what um Dean's career is too. And unfortunately, before she went to work, she tried to kiss and flirt with Dean. And he, had, he shoot her off. So is there tension in the air between these two? That's a little bit of a concern between them. And then finally, James finally became a kid. 
as the animation kicked in again. Third generation, as he is now a kid, as you can see. And he had a very successful childhood, too, as she, the aspiration points he got. Now, of course, the house either needs to be expanded or he needs to have a bed somewhere to accommodate him now. But hey, they got a lot of money now, especially all that 50,000 simoleons that Dean made recently. So, they're good in that regard. Alright, so that will wrap up this episode here. See you guys next time, and once again, Rip George.